everybody. This is Mary Jane, your International Village teacher. And today I have our big book of where. So today we're going to travel back in Africa to another country in Africa. I'll show you a picture on the map. So here's my Africa map. And down here on the bottom, there's an island called Madagascar. And so today we're going to read about that island and some interesting facts that are in my book and some facts that I found out online. Well, one of the things that live on the island are lemurs. And here's a picture of a lemur. Can you see him? Kind of cool, isn't he? Well, there's all kinds of lemurs that live on that island, many different kinds. So the island of Madagascar has the world's largest number of unique animal species. In fact, about 90% of Madagascar's plants and animals are far, excuse me, are found there and nowhere else. It split off from the mainland of Africa many, many years ago. So that's given the island plants and animals plenty of time to develop and they're different than the ones that are in the other areas of Africa. Probably the most famous island creature is the lemur, although there are many others there. And I think that's interesting. Okay, so there's a picture here. It says clouds gather over the Islo Mountains in Madagascar. So they have mountains there. I read that it's kind of hilly. Here's one of the mountains that I just told you about. It's kind of hilly there. Um, I went online and found some different things that um, it is the fourth largest island in the world, Madagascar. Okay, so it's not like where you live. It's an island that is pulled away from the mainland. So it's kind of neat. So I'm going to tell you about another animal there called the mouse lemur. And he's really tiny. He fits on like your finger. Madagascar is home to the world's smallest primate, the mouse lemur. So you can see him right here. Pretty small. I don't really like mice, but they have their place. Home destruction there is going on. Many of Madagascar's unique species are losing their forest homes to slash and burn agriculture. Farmers cut and burn trees to create fields for their crops. It can work on a small scale if the fields are later left unplanted long enough for the trees to regrow. But if there are too many fields and the same fields are planted year after year, the result is forest loss, erosion, and poor soil. And when that happens, when the trees come and burn and they cut them down, then the wildlife flees and it's not there anymore. So then, you know me, I like to learn a lot. So I went online to my computer and I found out that in Madagascar, there are rainforests, there's dry desert, there's grassy plains that cover the island and coral reef and mangrove forest. That's a lot of diversity on that island of Madagascar. So there's, besides the lemurs that we learned about and the little mouse, there are giant leaf-tailed geckos and nocturnal AIs. And I thought, AIs, that's kind of interesting. I wish I could show you a picture, but if you get a chance to look it up sometime, it's spelled A-Y-E-A-Y-E-S. And they have these little eyes that you can, and they're so cute. But it's um, a hairy animal that looks a cross between a raccoon and a rat. And it lifts its long finger and it taps on the trunk. And it's not just knocking to come in, but it's trying to locate hollow spots beneath the bark where insects live. So it's kind of neat that I learned about that about Madagascar. And then I found out there's spider tortoises and dumerals boas. You know what boas are? Snakes. Live in the desert and Madagascar, Madagascar, on, that's kind of hard to say. Flovers can be spotted flying over the island's central plains. There's humpback whales and pygmy blue whales have been spotted along the island's coast. So Madagascar is a pretty nice place, isn't it? Would you like to go visit Madagascar sometime? Well, I would. I think it'd be neat to go see there. Well, now it's my trivia time. So I got some questions for you. What is the name of the island we're talking about? Yep, you got it, Madagascar. And so it's part of Africa, but it's not part of Africa, right? Because it's not next to Africa, the big continent, but it's an island that's out from it. Okay, so what is going on that some of these animals are getting run out of their homes? 
Do you remember? People are cutting down the trees and they're burning up the ground. Well, can you tell me what the terrain is like there? You're right, it's hilly. And there's a very small animal there that I told you about. Can you remember the name of it? It's the smallest primate, a mouse lemur. Okay, so it's quite a bit of difference between the lemur animal here and the little teeny one, but they're both interesting to learn about. So I hope you enjoyed my story time today in Africa and the trivia. If you have any questions, ask your teacher. Maybe we can find them out together. Bye for now.